In this lesson, we're going to learn a new note value, the dotted quarter note. Remember that a dot placed behind a note increases its value by half. If I have a half note, it receives two counts. A dot placed behind a half note would increase its value to three, because two plus one equals three. Same thing works for a quarter note. When I have a quarter note, it receives one count. A dot placed behind the quarter note increases its value by one half count. One plus one half equals one and a half. Now the easy way to think of this is by thinking of the eighth notes that are involved in a quarter note. A quarter note equals two eighth notes, one and. Therefore, a dotted quarter note would equal three eighth notes, one and two. Since it's one and a half counts, I'm left with the upbeat of two. What you're gonna see in key exercise in the first measure is a quarter note on one, a eighth rest on two, followed by an eighth note on the and of two. One and two and. The next measure is simply two quarter notes, one, two. The dotted quarter note in the third measure is played exactly like the first measure, at least for a drummer. Dotted quarter note and. So one and two and. Here's how letter A is played. One, two and. One, two. One and two and. One, two. The measure one and measure three are played exactly the same. Dotted quarter notes are an important note value and it's just something to get used to because you're gonna see it in music. What I suggest that you do is work through all of those key exercises so you can get used to seeing and playing dotted quarter notes. Go to the back of the book in the appendix and work through all the appendix lines. Now we're also reviewing eighth and sixteenth note rhythms and flams along the way. Then turn back to page number 27 and work through the playing exercises there. Once you've got all of those playing exercises, you'll be ready for the next lesson on the rudimental etude.